So obviously guys, fall is here and I am totally excited for it because I have so many great outfits for you guys to show off. One of which I actually did rock the other day and I have to say it's probably my most favorite fall outfit to this day because it is very simple, it's, a, it's, a, it's very basic in terms of colors, it's really simple in the fact that you don't really have to think about it. And today I thought I would do a video where I would show you guys some fall essentials every single guy should have in his wardrobe, but today I thought I'd just go ahead and just break down that one outfit and tell you why I picked every single individual piece the way I did and hopefully provide some alternatives for you to use for whatever style is better for your preference or for whatever message you want to put out to the world. So today, here's my breakdown for my most favorite fall outfit coming up. Welcome to HP Fashion, where we give you tips and advice for Miss Fashion, Grooming, and Lifestyle. I'm your host, Zach Fobbs. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you're notified where more great content is dropped, just like this. Let's we'll start with the first piece of the outfit, and that's the leather jacket. This is the, ja the piece of the outfit that I was excited for the most because I never really get to explore a lot of options with this, especially since I lived in Texas all of my life, where it was typically warm that way, a leather jacket it would kind of put someone like a Texan of course out of place but now that I moved further up north and it's a lot more colder during this time of the year I, I'm able to finally bust this out this is a nice piece for any single guy to have if you guys don't have one I would suggest you go and save up the money and invest in one this is something that's gonna give you that cool bad boy vibe and it's also if you invest in a good quality one something around I'll say at the very least a hundred dollars or higher trust me you're going to be a lot more comfortable in this thing versus something that's a little bit subpar from as far as quality goes. But if you don't want to go for a leather jacket, you can always go for a little bit of an alternative like a wool overcoat or a cardigan, for example, just to help keep that, you know, that bad boy sort of vibe. But you're not going a little bit, you're not going too dressy with it, you know. You still got that carefree looking vibe, but you're still warm. And it, I believe that a wool jacket like this one is something that is very nicely structured, just like the leather jacket would be and it's something that's gonna overall like I said keep you warm keep you stylish up next is the white button-down Oxford and I chose this piece because it is a staple in every single guy's wardrobe it's something that I in my humble opinion every single guy in his early to mid 20s needs in his wardrobe because you never know when we need to step it up guys whether it's for a wedding or a job interview or a special date with that special someone you we can always dress this shirt up or we can dress it down and keep it casual cool for this outfit I'll recommend that you do you know take that courage and actually keep this shirt at all costs I wouldn't try to switch out with anything else up next is the scarf now if you would have came to me about a few years ago and asked me to wear a scarf I probably would have looked at you real funny and told you no because I wasn't really considered a scarf guy but once I tried it and I've felt how warm and comforting it felt to have something wrapped around me 24 7 and not to mention how, how stylish I looked with it. It gave my outfit so much depth, detail, and dimension to it overall, and I fell in love instantly. So if you guys haven't tried out a scarf, I would suggest you go out and try one. I got this one from H&M. It was really cheap. The quality of it is still great with me to this day. I got it like a couple years ago, and it works perfectly. Now, if you don't want to go for a scarf because you just absolutely don't like scarves, I get it. You can always go for like a simple solid black tie or even go with a beanie. Just if you want to still have that winter accessory look, go with a, per a little basic black or dark gray beanie. Still good to go. Now the pants, I went really simple with it and that's just some non-distressed black jeans just because that every single guy should have some in his wardrobe, again, is one of those style staples that you should invest in because you can obviously dress them up or dress them down. I wouldn't probably wear them to like a job interview or to a wedding, but in the sense of you probably want to go out to like a nice restaurant with your lady friend or even hang out with your boys at the bar, these are the perfect pants to throw on during the nighttime or even during the daytime. And it's one of those 
basic choices that you can always go for just to build every single great outfit on. So I would invest in the go. I got these from Old Navy, I think. Then they're pretty cheap there. So I would suggest go there or go to the Gap and get you some nice slim fitting black jeans. Now I chose the black leather shoes that are my footwear just because of the formality that it brings to my outfit. And I always, when I tend to dress up or dress any for any occasion, I always try to bring some sophistication somehow to my outfits. And these black leather dress shoes were always the perfect way to go because they kind of counteract with the bad boy vibe that the leather jacket gave, you know? But if you guys don't typically like to wear dress shoes at all, a good alternative is to switch out with some all white canvas sneaks just to keep that, you know, that simplicity in there. Plus a pop of white will always go good with that button down Oxford and bring some co great contrast to the outfit. Up next, let's move on to the accessories. Up first, I did of course go with a watch because you guys know how much I love watches. They look, make guys look instantly more responsible and more reliable. And of course, you always know I will always go for a Vancero watch just because of the simplicity that the brand provides. This isn't a paid sponsorship. This is just me giving my honest opinion about the brand. Hopefully one day they will be a sponsor to us. So keep subscribing to the channel guys and hopefully we'll make that goal a reality. And obviously for the strap, I went with a black leather strap just because of all the leather that I was coordinating with the outfit already. But if you guys want to go with a little bit alternative that I would go for a metal band watch just because a lot of metal band watches they are seen as a very formal piece but in my honest opinion I honestly see them as something that you can obviously dress down and help kind of carry that bad boy vibe to it plus with the metal strap it does add a, just a little bit more sophistication than a leather band just in my humble opinion. Up next are the sunglasses. Just because that is cold, guys, does not mean that the sun just magically went away and we still need a way to protect our eyes. I got these from a Wear Me Pro. I think I got them on Amazon for around 10 to 12 bucks, which is really not all that bad for the quality that they do provide. And honestly, I was going to tell you guys a good alternative for this. It's going to get like some nice uh, tortoise shell. I think that's how you say it. Um, glasses to go along with it. But honestly, I think every single guy will look good at some club masters if you guys haven't tried out a good pair of them i would invest go on amazon go to wear me pro buy these and try them out for like a week or so and see if you actually feel the same way i do they're pretty awesome and last but certainly not least is the belt of course no question here belts are made to keep your pants up of course i went with an anson belt because i love this company they're not sponsoring but hopefully one day subscribe to the channel but I did go with the leather belt just because of course all the leather that I was wearing with the outfit and of course going with the black one did go perfectly with the pants and the buckle of course is silver just to provide that nice contrast to the overall outfit but that's the breakdown for this outfit today guys if you like this video and you want a little bit more of these videos then let me know in the comment section below or just simply leave a like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and help us build a humble and bold community i am trying my best to reach 500 subscribers by the time that the year ends hopefully that goal can be met it, it can only be met by you guys so if you're here if you're visiting if you made it this far please subscribe to the channel and if you know someone who is lacking in that style genre in his life and he wants to make that turnaround point him my way i promise you i will try my best to be the best guy that i can be to help you portray whatever image you want to give out to the world but thank you so much for tuning in guys i'll see you next time